Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. On this channel, I've talked a lot about a company called Future Motion, which makes something called the One Wheel Electric Skateboard. This is a nice little way to get around town if you don't want to deal with a car and paying $8,000 to $30,000 for this four-wheeled, 4,000-pound chunk of vehicle that you will have to wait in traffic with, that you will have to deal with finding parking for. It's nice to be able to have something you could just kind of use to slide around things in densely populated urban areas like New York City and elsewhere. And it's also nice to just kind of be able to go off-road on something like this and not have to worry about things like parking. It's a cool little device. The problem is that it's made by a company that treats its consumers like trash. They claim that you should not be allowed to replace your own battery in your own device. They're the only ones that can service the battery. If you try to service the battery in this $2,000 device, you will get corrupted memory. Please contact customer support because God forbid you be able to do anything outside of warranty. They claim that they're doing this because of safety while simultaneously selling products that look like this on the inside because they couldn't be bothered to properly one wires. And when you actually show them pictures like this, they won't take accountability for it. When other companies try to come up with ways to allow you to replace your own battery, and give you different options, they will actually sue them out of existence. When it comes to battery connectors, because this company cares about safety to the extent that they do, they have battery connectors on their board that look like this, which essentially looks like it's meant for a MacBook fan, not a 40 to 60 volt battery powering an electric vehicle. Further, if you decide that you want to ride this thing around, the newest model does something called ghosting, which is where when you jump off of the board, instead of stopping when you go off the board, it will actually head off 20 miles an hour in the opposite direction, hitting a nearby passenger, which sometimes they uh, send to an ambulance. But it gets better. They will have firmware updates that brick the board. These are firmware updates that they will tell you have to install for safety reasons. And when you try to install it, it will brick the board and they will not give you any sort of recourse. Uh, it, it, it's just, it, if you want to read, you want to go through my channel, you will find that there are a number of things that this channel does that are anti-consumer in many ways. And many of you have suggested that I stop complaining about this and do the American thing to do, which is if you think you can do better, if this company is doing a poor job, the American thing to do is compete and come up with a better product. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm sorry to inform you of this, but you're wrong. You've actually been wrong for about 30 or 40 years now. The American thing to do at this point in time is if somebody comes up with a better product than you is to sue them out of existence using your patents. And that is exactly what Future Motion decided to do in this particular instance. In this instance, Future Motion has decided that since they cannot compete with companies that make better products, that they will try to destroy companies that make better products. There is a company called Float Wheel that has decided to make something called a Float Wheel, which is a pretty cool device. This is similar to a one wheel electric skateboard, However, they do not treat their customers like dog shit. You actually get access to the firmware of this device because it is using a VESC. So unlike Future Motion's product, the one wheel, you get access to the firmware. But above all, if you want to fix your product, unlike Future Motion that controls every element of repair, that controls every element of the supply chain, if you go to their parts section, you can find every single part from fenders to bumpers to light sets to battery management systems to the light control module to even the battery module. You can replace every everything you need to replace in this product using a part that comes from their website. They provide you with support if you have an issue. The product works very well. And the wizard of one wheel, the person that I like to call the wizard of one wheel, Mr. Josh Haley himself, has given this product his thumbs up. And if you don't know who he is, I highly suggest you check out this three-hour interview where he just demonstrates the, he is an absolute and utter genius when it comes to these products, whether it is repairing them or coming up with aftermarket modifications for them. This is the man right here. He is a genius when it comes to these products and he gives the full thumbs up to this product called the float wheel. This here is what looks to be a demand for a jury trial from Future Motion against the defendant Tony Lai who is an individual doing business as float wheel. This is a 16 page court document. I'm not going to read the entire court document but rather we will be summarizing it. This court document goes into complaints that they have regarding four different patents. U.S. patent number 9598141 which focuses on hub motors with enhanced thermal characteristics. It involves a hub motor having a stator made of steel and a central actual made of material with higher thermal conductivity than the stator, such as aluminum, to transfer heat from the stator to the external heat sink to improve motor performance, reduce weight and operating temperatures, increase power and extend motor lifetime, and a patent 104-566-658. This relates to self-stabilizing skateboards with improved control systems and indicators, such as a status indicator viewable through a slot in an upper surface of the board, a convertible carrying handle, interchangeable fender, and a motor controller using a field-oriented control scheme 
for intuitive vehicle dismounting. So what Future Motion has done is they have patented this and said that if anybody else tries to make something like ours that's actually serviceable, where you have access to the firmware, so you're not totally screwed if an update destroys you, where you can replace the battery on your own, so in two to three years when your battery dies, you're not stuck with a brick. If somebody wants to make a device that actually respects the end consumer, that is also constructed in a manner that's actually safe, unlike this garbage from Future Motion, uh, we are going to sue them into the ground because we have more money than them. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Shouldn't somebody have a right to protect their invention? Shouldn't somebody have the ability, if they invent something that is truly unique, to ensure for a period of time that they're the only ones who can profit off of it via the patent system? And that is the problem with the patent system as it is currently put together in the United States. Future Motion did not invent this. Somebody else did. Take a look at this website over here, robosys.co.uk. Back in 2007, this is a prototype that they put together. This is a patent from 2001 about a personal mobility device that is a looks like a one-wheeled electric skateboard over here. And if you take a look at this YouTube video that I will link down below, this is from 2007, 16 years ago on August 5th. This is a gentleman that came up with a product that looks very, very, very similar to the one wheel that Future Motion seems to be now getting other people in trouble for creating similar prototypes of. This is bullshit. This company is trying to put other companies out of business because they cannot compete. They realize that if somebody comes out with a product in the marketplace that actually allows you to fix it, where they treat their customers like human fucking beings instead of like somebody to be milked, some barrier that stands between them and their money that they will lose. And they are afraid of losing to a company that treats their users with respect. Floatwheel.com demonstrates that this company treats their customers with respect. I am not sponsored by them. They have not given me discounts on products. They have not given me a dime. I simply appreciate when a company is willing to actually make things like this available for people that want to be able to repair their own products and treats their users with respect, which floatwheel.com demonstrates a willingness to do that Future Motion at this point has not. I will leave a number of links down below that detail all the different ways that Future Motion has screwed over its customers, whether with poor service, poor build quality, poor responses, or and just, just let's be real here, just seeing their customer as sim not a customer, but just this really annoying piece of barbed wire fencing between future motion and their money. Because they don't see it as your money. They see it as their money, and they simply need to go through you, go over the obstacle to get to what is rightfully theirs. And I am sick and tired of companies like this that will utilize the legal system or the justice system when they know that they have more money to drain other people's bank accounts before the case ever makes it anywhere to to get away with it. They did it with JW Batteries. If you look up JW Batteries, a company that made it easy for you to be able to add capacity to your future motion device, as well as replace your battery, uh, one thing that you will notice is that their website it no longer works. They have been, in my opinion, destroyed by lawfare, by future motion. Again, who's going to have, what normal person is going to have millions of dollars to fight these people in court? And it looks like they are uh, completely gone. And I don't want to see this happen to another company. And I'm hoping that through raising awareness by videos like this that more people will be open to supporting companies that treat their customers well. And it's my hope that if people stop spending money with Future Motion and start spending money with companies like Floatwheel, that maybe they will have a little bit of a better budget in order to defend themselves and that at the end of the day, the product that treats the customer the best will be the product that wins. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that I'm wrong? Do you think that Future Motion should have the right to defend their patents vigorously in spite of the fact that their entire product seems to be a complete ripoff of a product that came out years and years before they were a company that actually did have patents on their own product? Or do you think that they should not be allowed to um, essentially destroy every company that tries to compete with them simply because they have more money? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.